Yo, what's up, YouTube? Back in the shed again. Um, we're gonna do the install portion of our cam video. Yeah, we just did a run out and we got 0 0.0025, so we're good to go. We can do the full send. But, roll the intro, we'll get started. <laughs> Intro's done. Um, I already went ahead off camera. I did press the cams in, um, as you can see. Um, yeah, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna mark your timing chain too before you pull it off. Um, this is an aftermarket chain, so it was already pre marked. But um, that just is so you get the chain back on in the same direction as it was when you pulled it apart. Um, other than that, you're gonna go through and you can kind of see I like, left over my mind. But you're gonna put some assembly lube on there just to make it press in and easier. And then you're gonna go ahead and reinstall that little snap ring on the press in cam um, to make sure the sharp edge is facing out. You know, it's not really a how to video, but just some tips and tricks. Awesome, I did it off camera. Don't be a hack job. Go through, run a tap through all your bolt holes. Get all that old Loctite out of there. Don't be a hack. Don't try to save time. Just do it right the first time. Get it all out of there so you get a nice good torque spec. A nice true torque spec. Um, I also already did the inner cam bearings. I'm really bad on the hole. I'm trying to remember to turn the camera on when I'm doing things. I just get started and just want to go, 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 go. So that's on me. Um, trying to get better. I'm trying to find some buddies or something to come over and just run the camera. Uh, the wife would if she wasn't working all the time. But it is what it is. So with that all done up. I do want to make sure you get that. Fully seated. Make sure you get that nice clip thud in the back. Put my hand off again. So I'm not gonna go through an in depth of the Torx backs and all that shit in this video. You want all that? Go ahead and read the description. Now I'm gonna go ahead and install our cam plate. Go ahead and pop. So, got them all cleaned up. We're gonna throw a little bit of blue lock tight on them. Just throw them back in there. Yeah. I'll uh, make sure I put the uh, sequence photos in here too. I'll uh, probably do those right now. So, note to sell sequences drop now. So we can. Do that as a picture over, so we'll do a voice over the picture. Um, I'll figure out how to do that when I do it. But yeah, we're gonna, a little bit of blue Loctite. Um, and we're always gonna snug them all down before we go into torquing them. Don't do what I did and put the timing chain guide back on before the bolts on because one of the bolts is behind the guide when you're oil pump bolts. So I took that back off just to get the last bolts in there. That's awesome. Go ahead and get all the other ones in there first. With that, we're out of room. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, torque these babies down. For our first pass, if you're using like a aftermarket can plate oil pump, you probably won't need it on my pictures because it'll be all pre-labeled. I know like the S&S plate, 
that I got for my bike build is all pre-labeled A, B, C, D, and then one through six, or not one through six, one through eight, there's eight of them on there. But, and then all like that. Most of your factory ones are not labeled at all. And just like that, camp lights installed. So that's cool. Cool, cool. Close that down. Um, see, bring it a little bit closer over here. See what we got going on. Way to loosen it up some. Drop you guys down. Woo. So yeah, we got our new shoe on, and then kick one out. So this is the uh, little plastic deal I'll tell you about. As you can see, it goes on right here, but, but it covered up one of the uh, oil pump bolts. We gotta wait to put that on until now. Yeah, now we can uh, go ahead and get our crank lined up. We'll try to get our flats all lined up, and they lined up. I'm gonna throw that in there. All right, folks, there you have it. I get the rest of the cam all installed. So, this portion of it's done. Um, one thing I'm not gonna do a whole description in the video is when you're doing your cam bolt and your crank bolt, remember you gotta tighten it down to the first sequence. And back it out 360 degrees, and then you go through and do your final torque spec. Um, but yeah, there, there's a cam. We're gonna drop some, some of our brand new SNS lifters in here. You ready? Ready for the penetration shot? See that? There's the money shot, baby. You wanna do it again? You wanna do it again? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Bam. Look at those. Look at those. Look at those. A little keeper. Bam. Beautiful. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. I'm going to keep going and we'll do a little catch up here in a little bit. Yo guys, so we're into my least favorite part about camming Harleys, and it's the push rods. Um, it's not hard, it's just, God, it's just tedious. And it's so much of it's tedious as it's, I don't the right words to say right now, um, time consuming. Very, very, very time consuming. Waiting for like lift rate to bleed down and shit like that. Um, like I'm putting SNS lifters in this bike, and uh, I've had really good luck with SNS precision lifters so far. Uh, uh, you know, you do their three and a half turns and let it set for 20 minutes to 30 minutes to bleed. Um, I've had really good luck of uh, it just being right the first time. Um, so, I'll keep using SNSs. I got a set of fueling race lifters going on my bike. And uh, that'd be the first set of fueling lifters I've ever had experience with. Um, Harley Screaming Eagle lifters. Uh, it could just have been a fluke, but um, we had a set go bad in like 500 miles. Um, I know people are going to talk about lifters and be all god holy loyal to one company. Well, there's only so many, I think there's only like four major companies. I have to re look into it, so don't quote me on that. But there's only like four major companies that make the actual tap at blanks. Um, after that, it's just whose sticker do you want, you know? Um, that's really what it comes down to is. Whose sticker do you want to see in the box? And whose name is in the box? But, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's not like it's 
made in house by them. So, I'm gonna get the covers on first. I've done it. I was four o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning last year, just before uh, Daytona. And as you know, last year, our bikes were far right now. I'm getting all kinds of powder coat and stuff done. And I put my bike back together. My brain was just fried. I was throwing the lifters back in. I was putting the push rods back in. And I uh, put the push rod in. Had it all adjusted perfect, both of them, inner and outer. And I went to look at it. I wanted to put my push rod tube in. And uh, the cover. Never put the cover back on. But uh, pull it all back apart. Oh. I, I've never felt so dumb in my whole life. Now that day right there. Just slow my saddle and see. Just took a phone call. The guy didn't have to come pick it up. That's cool, I guess. Depending on who you ask. <laughs> I've uh, had that seat for quite a while now. My first salmon seat, and it's, it's being sold. Um, only for the reason, uh, my bike is going to be all uh, white and blue now, so the whole red just ain't gonna match anything anymore. I think it's left off. But yeah. So, so you don't see me cussing and swearing and mad about how long it takes. We're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. And we'll catch up in a little bit. Alright guys. She's all buttoned up. Officially cammed. Um, yeah. Got to go to cam Harley now. <laughs> um, not too bad. Minor, minor cussing happened with the push rods. Um, my freaking little specialty tool broke on me. The rubber band, I think the rubber band's always got to be four years old now. So it's all dry rotted and stuff. And uh, it snapped once. I tied it back up. I snapped again. And then that was, thankfully, it was on the third push rod tube that that happened. So I had to button up that one without the tool. And then... The last one, the last, the front cylinder exhaust push rod, I do it without the tool. Um, that one wasn't too bad though, just because of an exhaust. Exhausts are always easier. But yeah, I'm not going to say and ramble on. Um, threw a back tire back on it because, well, my chain drive is like four weeks out for this bike. So yeah, back tire is back on it. We're going to block up the front. Pull the front tire off real quick, just pull that front fender off. And then from there, um, we're going to go ahead and push this beast outside, out in the cold storage, and we're gonna bring the next one in. Um, this will probably be the last video you guys see on this bike for a little while. At least until we start getting some of the paint stuff done. Um, I think I got a bunch of cleanup work. I'll probably do that right now, actually, before I push it out. Get it all cleaned up nice and pretty like. Um, but yeah. So, that'd be about it for this one. You can see. I put tire on it still. And we need to get the shorter bolts. See how they're sticking out. I don't know if you can see that or not. The, but, <sighs> yeah. I get shoulder bolts. Yep. But, the cam is done, it's installed. Like I said, go ahead and check the, uh, check the description for torque specs, and I'll have links again to the push rods, to the cams, um, and the lifters, I'll put a link to the lifters. And yeah, um, that's about it. Oh, my fleece is all dirty. Thanks guys for letting me know that. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, um, like and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Um, it's telling me that like point, freaking like 2.3% of you guys that are watching my videos are subscribed. 
So the subscribing really helps. It helps with like boosting my videos up and yeah. So like and subscribe and share them. Go ahead and share them. Um, but yeah, and so until next time, y'all keep the shine side up and stay classy. Peace.